patients get it. They know medicines just don't materialize out of thin air. Somebody who's invested and understand the disease process has to spend some time in having them made. Any development in healthcare treatment or cure takes multiple partners to get it from the basic science to clinical delivery to patients. Their job is producing the drugs that keep people alive. Our job is making sure they get to the kids and between us that's, that's a good partnership. All the results say that it is working. That period of exuberance early on in the development of a new novel cutting-edge technology, it's very easy to get caught up into that. The reality is, is this is still science and these are still experiments and we are still learning. Cervical cancer is a problem in Rwanda because it's a silent killer. It's a virus that attacks the cervix and... They don't feel that they have a cancer and most of the time when they come it's too late. I grew up in the suburbs of Boston and in the fall, I think November 1950, I contracted paralytic polio. I was in the hospital for almost five months at that time. The world panicked in those years during the summer. Don't go into swimming pools, that's school will be great. In 1980, we estimate that there were about 350,000 children each year who developed paralytic polio. Today, the count is 52 children in, in the world. We have a, an army of 20 million frontline vaccinators who work in their neighborhoods to deliver doses of vaccine to their children and the children of their neighborhood. Back in 1988, the only thing that I could think of was, you know, I was going to be dead in six months. At first, it was very difficult to see how in the world we were going to solve this problem. The medication that they had at the time was even worse than the disease itself. Now we're at a one pill, once a day uh, treatment for patients. Almost every house in Qatar, they have diabetes. I know that there is uh, two types, but I don't know the difference between them. If you do exercise, physical activity, and eat healthy food, you can avoid having diabetes type 2. The aim of Action Diabetes is how can we help the Qatari people delay their complications? You know, a healthy diet, give them some information about diabetes. It's something that's always present. You're always thinking about it. What if my cancer comes back? I've been working on this therapy for five years now, and we're getting ready to go to the clinic. My son definitely keeps me fighting. I want to be there for him when he needs me. That's what motivates me. I want to see patients have gray hair. Mm -hmm.